Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to the Ultimate Dude. I should say welcome back, because it has been a while. I mean, uh, it has been since September that I've uploaded something, and that I didn't even speak in that, so... It must have been a while since you heard my voice. And um, the reason why I didn't upload after the video I did in September is saying that I could upload if I had time since I'm going to college and all that. Um, and I have had time. I just didn't use that time to record. <laughs> because, you know, the games came out and uh, stuff happened. Uh, in real life as well, um, like the college and changing in between uh, subjects I wanted to do, like in the first two days I was like, nope, I'm out, I'm going to do something different, then I went to uh, another school. So yeah, uh, that happened, uh, but also, uh, like I said, the games came out, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Fallout 4, um, yeah, that's basically it, the games I bought at least. Um, but <laughs> before those came out, I was like, should I record? Yeah, I should record. Should I do something different than I did before? I should do that. And I did, and I did like, I, I made this four pages of text, which I just deleted because the video wouldn't have been interesting because it would have been about me. And since I only have 200 subscribers, why would I make a video about me now? Should do that if ever would grow and and then I sh and people people are interested in who I am. Then I should do something like that. Not now. It's no use. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking. I was like, nah, maybe our people, maybe people are interested in me. But no, that's not that's not how that works. Um, but yeah, uh, excuses, right? So yeah, I said that I was gaming instead of making videos, and I was. I was enjoying. Skyrim, I was enjoying uh, GTA 5 on PC, I just bought that, stupidly I, I bought it on PC, like, five days before Black Ops 3 came out, I didn't even play GTA 5 on the, GTA 5 on the PC when Black Ops 3 came out, I was just playing Black Ops 3, which is, which was in an exam period, and uh, that wasn't the best combination, I think I only passed one. That's just great. Uh, I don't even know. I only know three of the four exams which I did. Um, and then the Tuesday, uh, the following Tuesday on Black Ops 3, Fallout 4 came out. And that basically took over my life now. <laughs> Those two games. So yeah, I'm playing a lot of Black Ops 3 zombies and playing Fallout 4. Also playing Black Ops 3 online. Uh, because I. I have to admit it's good, it's a good Call of Duty, I wasn't as happy with uh, Advanced Warfare because what the hell were they thinking, let's just get some money out of this. Uh, so yeah, um, but yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is actually pretty good. Uh, the campaign is weird, just like every other uh, Call of Duty campaign besides the, the one from uh, um, Advanced Warfare, that was pretty good. Um, that, that was the only good thing about Advanced Warfare, um, but in Black Ops 3, like, the multiplayer is pretty good. They made some pretty good changes in customization and all that, and the specialists and whatnot. It's not the game which is with, which makes the multiplayer bad, it's just the community, the campers and all that stuff, the tryhards, which I admit I'm a tryhard myself, I want to, I want to unlock everything, um, which is unlockable and um, same for zombies because zombies is now pretty good I'll show some gameplay while I'm talking here um, it's pretty cool like the remake of the giant is my favorite now I know Shadows of Evil is cool too it's a really big map with nice characters and all that but I, I'm just I just enjoyed the giant more because it's back to the classics and that's what's uh, that's pretty cool like how they did the um, the the pack a punch. Now it's not even different, but uh, it's pretty cool to see to see everything come back like it did, but then different. But it's still the same. <laughs> it's like that one quote. It's different, but it's still the same. But it's different. Or is it? It's the same. But I don't even know. But um, yeah, 
it's it's really cool. Like every single weapon of the multiplayer is in the is in the box, or if it's not in the box, it's on the wall. Um, you still have to link the the three teleporters A, B, and C to uh, unlock the mainframe, which has the pack a punch, which you can pack a punch guns with. Whoa, didn't see that coming, did you? You can also pack a punch guns twice now, and instead of giving them attachments, they uh, like red outside. They give them uh, upgrades, like a thunder wall, which does the same as the thunder gun did. Uh, a blast furnace, uh, stuff like that. Um, a wunderwaffer kind of thingy. Um, yeah, it's that kind of stuff. It's really cool, and it doesn't give you attachments, or it does, but. Uh, uh, attachments are not like a pack a punch thing now. The guns you use in zombies level up as you use them, and then when you're out of zombies, you can customize those guns, and the customization you gave the gun will be applied in the zombies, the next zombies round you play, and all the following as well. So that's pretty cool. Like, um, you can customize your gun to your own preference. Which wasn't a, a thing before, you just pack a punch until you got the right attachment in Black Ops 2. And in Black Ops 1, you couldn't even uh, pack a punch, re pack a punch, like it said. And then, yeah, the, the perks as well, they're the same. It's cool. Well, there is a new one in Shadow of Evil, I know, but the, um, the perk system in the Giant is different than it was in the Reese. Uh, because the perks don't. Um, don't show up at the same places as they were they were put in trees they swap all around because now as you can see Juggernaut is where double tap would, would have been double tap is where milk kick would have been uh, milk kick is where quick revive would have been speed call is on the, the same spot which is a miracle and quick revive is where Juggernaut would have been so it swaps around it's really cool uh, also, the Easter egg is still the same, which is really cool. It wasn't hard to figure out then, because I was just like, maybe if I shoot that panel over there, it'll do the same thing as it did. And it did, but the only hard thing then was the teddy bears and the monkey bomb weren't on the same spots as before. I, have, I had to search for them, and Jesus Christ, I didn't... I was shooting uh, around in uh, the the one room where the monkey bomb is and I was like well maybe there's something in this black thing and uh, I shot um, with a light machine in inside and that's how I got it otherwise I wouldn't have even have seen it and then afterwards I went to theater, mo theater mode and then you can see it it's like really really dark in there but you can see the monkey bomb's face and all that but Jesus Christ did that take me a long time to find that one and then um, in the classic one, there was also a teddy bear up high, so it was like, there must be one up high again. And there is, um, next to the power switch. And then one in the furnace room, where the old monkey bomb uh, was placed, but then not in that furnace, but the one next to it, like the circle thingies, you had to jump and then shoot it. So yeah, and uh, then you unlock that Annihilator pistol from online, which is 2 demo B, but not in Zombies, but online. <laughs> but still, it's, it's there and it's not as good. Well, you can shoot a lot of zombies at once with it if they're in a straight line and aim for the head. But it, um, it's not the same as online, and the line is just a one-shot kill and they all die. I mean, the one you shoot dies. And so yeah. That's the thing. I don't use the pistol much. I didn't even use it in the gameplay I'm showing you here. Uh, yeah. And then the Easter egg song. Oh my lords. That's amazing. I really, really love that song. It's so good. It's so good right now. I mean, it's the same. It's the same lyrics. It's the same tune. Only it's like... A remake, just like the map's a remake, that song's a remake as well. And you still have to do those three same spots to activate it. And damn, that's cool. That song's amazing. I love it. I'm gonna change my ringtone, ringtone, ringtone to that freaking song and then call myself. Is that possible? Do you hear you? Know, can you even call yourself? Is that a thing? I don't even know. 
I know that my smartphone shows me in my uh, uh, person list, whatever. Contact list, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. But uh, back on to the topic here. Also, which is a cool Easter egg, new Easter egg in the giant, is um, if you throw. I couldn't do that in the gameplay here because I didn't get the monkey bombs. I've been trying though. But if you throw a monkey bomb in the teleporter, then teleport to the mainframe. Um, with the monkey bomb still active and doing its sound, you'll hear it. It makes the sounds of of a giant, those giant robotic things. Um, then you have to teleport to the mainframe. Then if you're at the mainframe, you'll notice the panel like the um, with the big button on it. Now one of them, if you did the first one, one of them buttons or li uh, lights will now be green. And if you do all three teleporters, then all the three lights will be green. And if you push that button, you'll hear um, a laser, which comes out of the giant's head and then uh, melts a snow pile. Um, like, how do I explain where it is? It's like through, if you're looking right at the main, uh, right at the mainframe and you go to the right door and then go right to, uh, towards the L car pistol, in that hallway towards the, uh, the power switch is the uh, on the left will be a new perk machine now where the show has been uh, the, the show the snow has been melted there will be a new perk machine I don't know if that ran is the if the perk machine is randomized but like all the other perks but I uh, only have gotten uh, that shot day kitty or whatever the die quiet quietly I don't know how to pronounce that perk jeez don't blame me I'm not making these difficult names. Another new thing that I uh, that I don't use in um, the new Black Ops 3 Zombies is Gubblegum machine. I mean, I use it, but I don't really think it's useful. I mean, you have the good ones, which are the mega ones, um, but I don't really like the Gubblegum thing because it's randomized, and even if you buy it. Um, it's not the same as a perk machine because you know what you're what you'll get and then um, The gobble gun machine is, is this little ball that comes out and like hm, what's that and you have to take it to know what it is That's the um, annoying part about it. I I I think I mean in my opinion because um, It's different because uh, look look at the box and you open the box and then it's like Man, you get this weapon, you know what weapon you'll get, but in the Gobblegum, it's like, should I take it? Because I have this one. Maybe the one I'll get is worse than the one I have. But you, you take it either way, because it's a Gobblegum. You bought it, 500 bucks, for a crappy piece of gum. Or not crappy, depends on you have Mega Balls. It's also cool that you, it's cool that they can be customized, the Gobble, the Gobblegum, um, five gobble gums at a time, but I don't really do that as well. I just pick the one I think is best, and you have these ten classes you can make of gobble gums or gobble gum packs, not classes. I don't even use all other the other nine. I just use the first one and customize that one and use that one all the time. Never even use mega gobble gums. I just collect them, <laughs> and I'm like. Yeah, these are all mine now. <laughs> I will never use these. Even though they are good and I should, but nobody cares. It's mine. Back off. <laughs> also, in this um, in this gameplay, I've got a Wind Warfare. I didn't even use it until the point where I died. Really sad. But still. I don't even... I don't even... Um, like the Wunder Buff for now. It's not as strong as it used to be because you shoot him and they still move while in uh, the classic one they sh you shoot him they immediately not die but they immediately get shocked and then start vibrating and die. Now it's just like huh, I'm a I'm a shocking zombie now. Oh wait now I'm dead. It just takes a while until they die but nope it looks cool the gun but uh, I'm not a fan of it. I don't really want it. My favorite gun is still the Argus Model 9080, no, wait, wait, what is this? It's 1887, I think. The future version of the model, whatever. Um, those, um, how is this called? It's like repeater rifles. 
those guns, but then it's a modern version of that. I love those guns, so I love the Argus, and it's a really good gun as well in the multiplayer and in zombies. One shot kill shotgun, which shoots really far. So yeah, um, Black Ops 3 is pretty good, to be honest. I really enjoy it. It's a really good Call of Duty. I'm, I, said to, I said it to my friends as well, I am not, I repeat that, I am not buying a game from Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer again. Never. It's just, it's just Treyarch games now from Call of Duty. 